everyone and welcome to another Halloween video. Today's tutorial is not going to be the easiest one but I wanted to create a few tutorials that are easier and a few tutorials that will be harder and that require a bit more specific products. But I still wanted to make this tutorial because it is actually what I personally use a lot. If you like the look that I'm wearing right now in this video, this is actually my Abby Shuto costume um, that I made a tutorial of so if you want to check that video out I will link it somewhere around here so you can just click and go and have a look. In this tutorial we're actually gonna work with Sculpt Gel and I actually have this tree kit um, of Sculpt Gel so you have a part A, a part B and then a deadener. Then we're also gonna use my alcohol activated palette to give this piece some color and then finally we're gonna use some fake bloods um, to yeah, create the wound and make it look very gory. So what you will need to work with Sculpt Gel is actually this. This is a metal um, palette and then a metal spatula. This is what part A looks like. I'm not gonna use a lot today so I'm just gonna scoop out a tiny bit using this spatula and I'm gonna put it onto the metal plate that we're using today and what you will also need is tissues or something to clean your brushes with so now I'm wiping off all the excess of the spatula and now that I've cleaned this spatula I'm gonna go into part B and you never ever ever want to contaminate your product because otherwise it will start hardening into the pots and you can just throw them away so if you can use different spatulas or always clean your spatula in between uses of products I'm gonna put it next to the first one so I am not mixing them yet. So I'm again cleaning off my spatula. And then I'm gonna use about the same amount of the part C. And then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the silicon pigment. This is a flesh tone. This is already a lot of pigment. And then we're gonna start mixing it up. So you can just apply this to the skin. This doesn't need a adhesive or anything. So what I like to do is put a tiny bit and I use it and then just drag it along the face. So I'm gonna create a sort of cut wound that goes onto my mouth. Just for the purpose of this video and also because I have a lot of product left, I'm gonna create another wood on the other side of my face. So now that you've applied the basic wounds, let it dry completely. What I like to do is I always apply a tiny blotch onto my hand as well. So I can just poke that blotch instead of having to poke my face. The working time on this type of silicon is about 10 to 15 minutes and then it will be completely hardened. So if you work with this and you have to do a big piece of work in sections, so mix up as you go because otherwise your product will um, go rigid and you won't be able to use it anymore. Once the silicon has dried, you're gonna use a translucent powder on it just to set everything and make it go matte. And this will most of the time make it blend with the skin already pretty much. Now what you can see is that the silicone piece is just one color as the skin colors are actually built up of multiple colors. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a stippling sponge that I've cut up into smaller pieces and I'm gonna use that to kind of break up the color. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit of reds, a bit of yellows and just make a equal mix so that this thing will look more or less like skin color. I'm also gonna make it look a bit irritated so I'm gonna use a little bit more of red than I will of other colors. So what you want to do is put a tiny bit of alcohol onto your acti alcohol activated palette onto the colors that you will be using and alcohol will evaporate so if you don't really use it it's not a pity it's not that um, the color will stay activated forever I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of yellow a bit of red And because we're using a stippling sponge, the color will not be overly saturated, so you can really build up the color as you go. 
finally the color you might also want to use a tiny bit of is blue but please be gentle with blue because it can be overpowering very fast what I like to do is I blend these blotches out with my fingers so I put a tiny bit of alcohol on my finger and then I just go over it or rub it out a tiny bit so you don't see the blotches as much so now that we have some nice color breakup onto the actual wound, what I like to do is still go over with a tiny bit of foundation and this time I'm gonna use it with my fingers because I can feel more what I am doing and feel the texture of the wound as well. So I'm gonna dilute the foundation onto my finger and then just gently tap over the wound that we just gave some more color breakup. And then of course use some more powder to set it all. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some brushes and actually give color to the wounds. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna use the blood tone color first, which is actually the brightest red and I'm gonna go all the way into the wound. So this creates the first layer actually of the damaged skin look. So what I like to do is dilute this red a lot with a lot of alcohol and use that exact same brush and just go over the edges of the wound just to make it look more irritated. But be careful not to wash away all the other colors that you've just applied because otherwise it will just look ridiculous. So now that we've given these wounds a tiny bit more depth, we're gonna use the darker red and this is called Blood Stain. So this is a lot darker and we're gonna go again into the wound that we just created and just make it darker. Now that we've done this, we have the basic bloody look ready. So what I always like to do is use a tiny, tiny bit of black into the wound as well to give it some more texture, especially here where I've created kind of a uh, damaged skin look. I like to go in with a teeny tiny bit of black and I'm using a tiny detail brush for this. So it's a eyeliner brush, I believe. And I just go in here just with some of that black to give it more depth, more detail. You can also use it in cuts just to give it a little, a little more extra. And now I'm gonna use a very light color to kind of give a more color contrast. Why am I doing this to kind of raise the wound again? So we're gonna apply this on the edges of the wound that are sticking out to the high points. And I'm just gonna gently rub over them just to make them pop that tiny bit more just so you can see that it's actually raised. And today this is where I'm gonna stop with my alcohol activated palette and just I'm gonna apply some more blood. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps a few of you. If you want to work with Sculpt Gel, I can highly recommend it. You can also use cream makeups on Sculpt Gel or just regular makeups. Just make sure that the Sculpt Gel has fully dried. If you still have any questions, you can of course ask them in the comment section and I will try and answer to the best of my abilities. All the products I have used will be listed in the description box as for usual. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel i am making halloween videos during the entire month of october and i would love to have you here so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you soon bye